Hey, down here. Well, we got uh, monitor problems, but and I thought uh, I brought it out here in the garage, and there's a problem. It's a VGA cable up the mon on the for the monitor, and they're bent. The pins are bent. Two of them are bent way over, shorting out. Let's see, can do that again. Hard for me to tell what can be seen here. I think that can be seen. But uh, this magnifying glass that's out there in the garage is a little more scratched up than the other one I usually use in the house. I just now realize that. But I need to be able to work. Yeah, I think I can see good enough to do it. I've got some nice little small screwdrivers and some thought I might look at it. No, I can't look at it through the uh, phone. I thought it actually might help. Let's get it over here more in the light for me. I need my magnifying glass to be suspended somewhere to help me see is what I need. So I don't think I can do that. Unless I can lay it up here on top of a tripod with the phone. Then that probably get it out of the picture. Actually, no, it doesn't. Oh, that works. Well, yeah, I can still see it. I see. They're bent so far. I've had that happen on another, well, on my, my uh, cables to my KVM switch. My, they get, uh, you know, when I'm, sometimes I'm put, taking them off and putting them on different machines. And that's really bent. But this is not a machine I use, or a monitor, or a machine I use. But uh, we had decided the monitor was bad. It was plugged in another. Didn't really look at it, you know. Just plugged in another a laptop and plugged it into a laptop, and it wouldn't come on. Just black. It was making a bad noise. And I thought when I heard the noise, I thought that sounds like in years past when I heard them. Um, when this, uh oh, did it pull out? I'm afraid it did. Get over where I can see it. Yes, whole pin pulled out. Crap! Doesn't mean it won't work because I've got one, at least one pin missing on my one of my KVM. Um, it was bent so so bad that straightening it out broke it. Of course, I, I was trying to. There we go. Can't stay. It's kind of trade off between me being able to see it and the phone being, being able to see it here. Probably can't make all that. That's probably too blurry from what I'm gathering on the phone anyway to really see what I'm doing. But I thought it'd be, you know, worthwhile to make a little video. I didn't think about it even. It's what's funny is you know that's one of the first things you would should think about. But I guess since it's one I don't use, I wasn't even expecting it to have been taken off and put back on. But it is plugged into a laptop in the other room there, and uh, I don't even know where that pin went. It just disappeared. But there was two of them here bent real bad and the other one was bent all the way down just at a right angle and it was shortened out on this one here uh, but you know uh, a lot of the one like my one that I have the one that I take it on and off of different computers and my laptop on my KVM for my KVM switch in there it uh, is missing one pin I think it's more up in the middle somewhere but it might be out on the end and you can't tell any difference as far as the video signal and all that, and sometimes the ones that are there get bent on, you know, bent in them by accident. But uh, yeah, I don't know where that went. <laughs> I just used my tripod and my and my. Uh, let me get that the way I had it before. I used my tripod. Now they're all straight. And my camera to hold up my magnifying glass so I could see what I was doing. So that worked. Let 
But now it's missing one. That one just broke off. So let's see if it works. I'm going to plug it into a computer. And see if it will work still. Sometimes you do. I don't know what I'm showing you. In the shirt, I guess. But, uh... Oh. Let's see. <coughs> That's one thing good about having, using this cassette <coughs> case as a... <coughs> and, uh, I'm not going to try to show the uh, or I'm plugging it in but this computer over here that's already out here in the garage and I'll just plug it in there and uh, turn it on see if we get a signal well I didn't get them straight all, all straight and put it let's see now, one of the ones up in the middle, now that I've moved everything around, you can see that. Turn this back around where I had it. The light's different in, in different places. I decided to give it one last check to see if they were straight. I can't can't really see it can't tell how well it's showing up let's pull it over this way more maybe I can maybe I can see it in use and hold it in front of there too where is it I have to basically well let's put this back up here again like I did before ah here we go now it doesn't look it's, when I was holding it up in a different place I could see that it wasn't straight that, whoop too far that one's a could break too and the thing is is these darn connectors if you try to buy them one thing they're hard as heck to wire so many pins to wire and solder the other thing is they're not cheap did save a couple of cables off of a couple of EJ monitors that were bad and I threw away. I took the cables out of them. I gotta pull it up and out of here to look at it. I get it where I had it before. Sometimes it just depends on what angle you hold them on. It may, they may look crooked when they're not. Or straight when they're not. But I think that's okay now. Where's the regular? It's hard to tell because the phone screen is so small. It's hard to tell when I have them straight looking through there. Okay, now let me get this back in position. If I can. My rubber bands go everywhere that hold it. I use rubber bands to hold the phone on and rubber bands to. Uh... Yeah, that's alright. That'll do. Now that's the monitor. It's a Sony monitor that we've had for many years. 98, I believe, is when we got it because that's when Windows 98 came out and we bought a computer, a compact computer and a Sony monitor. And that, actually, that computer would probably work. I thought there was something wrong with its motherboard, but I found, figured out years later, I had it out here in the garage and I got to looking at well, I started realizing that the darn power supply is usually what's wrong whenever they act crazy and do what it was working, not working stuff. I can't see. Oh, I've got it upside down. See, that's what will happen. You'll try to put them in upside down and you'll bend them. And then you're like, oh, it goes that way. But you don't realize you bent the pins. It's out here tonight in the, in the garage and I've got all the lights turned on that I can turn on. There. Now I gotta plug it in. Luckily out here there's plenty of the stuff accessible for doing this sort of thing. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, I don't have the power to the computers turned on. I always turn that one off. 
because my router out here is plugged in there and I don't want it running all the time. Wireless router. Okay. Did you come on? button or what? There. I heard a little noise. I got speakers hooked up. I think the buttons just didn't want to connect. Well, I've got the monitor that I normally use works so I can just look and see. I don't see anything yet. I don't know if this is on or not. It's got a little blinking light so that was probably on. Maybe it's not going to work. There, now it's on. I can see a little green light and it made that noise it always makes. Should be getting a signal by now. That fan making noise in that computer, too. I hardly ever turn them on anymore out here in the garage. I have them out here so when I go, I can look stuff up when I'm working on stuff or I can connect via the network. I'm having trouble with it. It's not working right now, but I can connect via the network to my inside computers and, and use remote desktop to look up the weather and stuff. That's uh, that one pin. It may have... I almost thought I smelled smoke. No. Well, I certainly don't want to mess up the uh, computer. <laughs> I mean, it's not a not a fancy computer, but I don't want to mess it up because it works. Let's see what we got here. I plugged in the other monitor, the one that I usually use. Uh, I can't. Got a chair in my way. It's about to turn me over. Let's see if we're getting any signal. There we go. It's working. So, maybe the monitor is bad. Or that one pin that's gone now. Yeah, I see it on the desk now. It's been like crazy. Let's see if I can show it. There it is. That's how bad it's still bent. Well, that's uh, the Bain Linux with LXDE desktop on that little gateway, 350 megahertz gateway. It actually works pretty good on there. You can't... Uh, Watch any flash on the internet or anything, but can't handle that. But now I'm going to put this back over here, and the phone, my little rubber bands are loosening up there. But let's uh, put it back on there and swap monitors. Now that it's up, yeah, it's up. It should just you can just swap with VGAs. You can just do that. So, uh, everything's still straight, but it's missing that one pin. You would think that it would probably work even if all it did was just have the wrong colors or something. It doesn't act like it wants to work. Okay, now it's trying to come on. I think maybe they might have gotten damaged because it was making terrible noises. And I kind of think I smell things you don't know where the... You could be doing something to the computer that you got it plugged into, but I smell a, ba uh, a bad smell. The magic smoke smell. I don't see any magic smoke. Okay, it's, it's still jacked up. It probably ruined it, being shorted out like that. Probably burned something up in it. Put it. Actually, the sound generally comes from this side. So this is for the audio. I don't know how well it'll pick it up, but let's try it. Oops. This is where we're going for, right here. Yep. It's shutting itself down. 
think so. So, I guess it is a bad monitor after all. I thought I had discovered. I don't know if I'm in the picture or not. But I thought I had discovered uh, something I could fix uh, easily just by straightening those pins out. And maybe if you had another pin in there. It would work, but uh, from my experience with my yes, yeah, really bent. From my experience with my comp other my KVM switch cable, uh, it would work. It should just still work. That's sitting up on there. It should just still work, even if it. Uh, I should see something. You know, I should see either a weird picture or wrong colors or. Like I've had a couple one one or two bad cables over the years, and like you wiggle it one way, I've got one I'm still using. If you wiggle it one way, it's perfect. You wiggle it the other way, everything's pink looking. So yeah, that's one of my other KVMs cable. Actually, I'm not using it anymore. It got so bad. Uh, but anyway, um, well, the old Sony Trinitron monitor is dead now. I guess I mean it might could be fixed, but of course it's. Uh, you know, I'm using a 23-inch flat uh, LCD flat panel monitor in the house and, and my computers, and, and that's what everybody likes to have. So, you know, poor old Sony's might be fixable, but I, you know, I wouldn't really know how anyway. I love electronics, but I don't know how to diagnose and repair too much stuff. Some things maybe, but not that. So if I put this back in here, we're back, should be, on the, uh, let me turn out this lamp, there we go, so, uh, yeah, everything's fine there, so the 350 megahertz gateway is fine, that one's not on, that's another even older monitor, and the top one's the one I'm running, and then the, other, the boxes look the same, there's, 500 megahertz on the bottom and 350 on the top. Old computers, but with Linux, it's still usable. So, uh, if you haven't ever heard, gotten into any the free and open source software and Linux operating systems, it's definitely worth it. You, uh, there's some learning to do, but if you don't mind learning, then it's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, okay, now I know for sure that that monitor is not going to be working without some you know I mean if you really wanted to fix it anybody that knew how I'm sure they could op open it up and replace whatever could be hard to get to though I mean if you know even if you're really familiar with CRT monitors you know you know finding the, the exact right component that's burnt out and then replacing it could be hard because I've had them apart I took them apart and saved all the good bits out of them before and um, got it plugged in up here so like I said save the cables and stuff and then throw away all the rest. I can't do it one-handed. Okay, well, that's good enough then. I uh, found out what I need to know. Guess it's time to turn you off. Well, let's just shut this down. All right, bye.